One other thing you do in your on your show, which I've never seen you do before, and I've seen most of your your performances, you play a lovely instrument uh, called a what's it called? An auto harp. It's an auto harp. Yeah. yeah. Which is uh, something new, I think. It is. Not well, I've been playing it for years, but uh, I didn't take it on stage before. Well, I did in my early career. I'll show you. Yeah. This is it here. It's a sort of 36 string breadboard. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, the tomato slicer of the future. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lovely thing. It's for the Appalachian Mountains. And, uh... Play something. Aye, I'll play a wee tune. Is it a wee tune I wrote for, uh, for uh, Youth of Joyce? Of whom I was desperately fond. Were you? Yeah, I didn't know the lady. I just thought she was amazing. Yeah. Used to have me rolling about in the car. So, yeah. this is a wee tune. It was a wee, I wanted to write something kind of touching when she disappeared, so this is it. <laughs> I used to love country and western. I still do love country and western music, some of it. But there is a guy called Red Savine who writes these sick, half-talking ones, you know, about drunk drivers running over their own children and stuff like that. And I love them, right? I've got a huge collection. Uh, great. So this is my contribution. You see, I, could, I played all his stuff, and I could see the ingredients he was using. And first of all, you need, in your lyrics, you need relatives. The closer, the better. You need somebody with something terrible wrong with them, preferably incurable. And a few disasters, as many disasters and tragedies as you like, and God, he should put in an appearance, keep the party clean, you see. <laughs> and so I wrote one with all of the ingredients, and it's called My Mother Drowned in the Grotto at Lourdes. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> because a hunchback pushed her in. And this is... Right, now you must do the chorus. This is a chorus. You must help me, you see. <laughs> oh, dear lady, lady, oh, lady. Right, do it. That was it. <laughs> oh, dear lady, lady, oh, lady. Right, here we go. Oh, my granny is a cripple in that. Well, uh. We'll came off of that wheelchair, friends, and on three wheels it trundled away, and it trundled right over the edge of a cliff on an old seaside town far away. Sing, or the lady, lady, louder. <laughs> now the ball. Well, they sent for brave Father Maloney <laughs> to pray for the poor soul's repose. And he said, well, now that we gather here, good people, we, well, we might as well pray, I suppose. <laughs> but too many people had gathered <laughs> and the edge of the cliff gave way <laughs> and they dropped. With a yell, they all shot straight to hell In that old seaside town far away Last chance Oh dear, dear.
can I do just one verse? Because my throat's real rough. Sure. Aye. Sure, sure. You got a voice sure. like, sure. like a goose farting in the fog. <laughs> <laughs> Slid over the mountain on a deep purple Arkansas night. The red wine was flowing, the red lights were glowing, the dancers waltzed into the night. Away in the forest, a bluebird was sleeping where only the coyote called. The dancers were swaying, the band started playing, an old fashioned Tennessee waltz. Just an old-fashioned Tennessee waltz You've heard it before, you'll hear it again Just an old-fashioned Tennessee waltz Young ladies beware of mysterious young men Shadows, the black hatted stranger, he stayed well away from the bar. She could see his moustache and his blue tinted glasses in the glow from his five cent cigar. She walked right up to him and said, Hello, stranger, while the band played an old fashioned tune. And they swung arm and arm to the edge of the dance floor, and a dark cloud slid over the moon. Just an old-fashioned Tennessee waltz You heard it before, you'll hear it again Just an old-fashioned Tennessee waltz Young ladies beware Of mysterious young men
Don't look for Betty O'Hara. <laughs> Kiss will live in my heart. 